In the two previous videos, I mentioned that I would upload a PDF. Um, I figured it would be easier to just make a video of the PDF in which I sort of narrate different things about it. So I mentioned uh, in the, one of the videos on the monosaccharides, I I discussed the um, you know D forms and L forms of sugars and their uh, alpha and beta forms, and I talked about how to manipulate them. I didn't draw out all of them, but I do have them all drawn out here. So this glucose, I've already drawn that in the video. I'm pretty certain all of them match up, so I hope I didn't do anything incorrectly. But um, everything here should be correct. But uh, feel free to pause the video as needed in order to sort of copy these down in your own sort of notes. Um, I'm going to scroll through this very slowly. Um, but notice that all the rules just sort of stay the same. It's kind of the best thing to do, I think, is to just memorize the D form of the sugars and be able to manipulate them uh, as necessary. So that way you end up memorizing things less. You just sort of remember the rules and how to derive them, and then things end up being a lot easier. I actually didn't write in there that it the alpha the alpha L ribose. I didn't write that here, but this is alpha L ribose. So these are all the sugars, the monosaccharides. Pretty sweet, <laughs> pun intended. All right, but I hope this is uh, this is helpful here. Notice with the deoxyribose here, I didn't actually draw the hydrogen. Um, again, so if a carbon doesn't have those those drawns line, uh, those those draws lined, excuse me, those lines drawn for the hydrogens, it's just implied that the hydrogens are there. Okay, so here I, I made a few notes. I circled all the anomeric carbons in pink. So the beta and alpha anomers differ only at that anomeric carbon, otherwise they're identical. The beta OH is always on the same side as the box CH2, which I boxed in green. Uh, and the alpha, alpha OH group on the anomeric carbon is always opposite the, the CH2OH group. Okay. The DNL sugars I mentioned before, they differ in stereochemistry at all the chiral centers. So basically anything that was up in the D form is down in the O form, vice versa. So as I mentioned before, the tip as far as how to remember all these is to just memorize only the D form, especially since they're the ones that exist in biological forms. Uh, then if you're asked for the L form or if you somehow want to draw it on your own, then just simply make all the all the the uh, the groups opposite. Okay. I already had a video on the disaccharides as well, but I've drawn them here. Might be a little bit neater. Um, notice I've drawn here as drawn in lecture slides. The reason why I did that is because I've taken classes, obviously, um, in biochemistry, and that's how it was presented to me. Now, if you look up maltose, you'll see that there's an alpha and beta maltose. Um, if you just look it up on Wikipedia, you can find that, um, or Google just in general. But um, there's alpha and beta maltose here. I think I, I believe I've drawn beta maltose, so there is an alpha maltose in case you're interested about that structure. Um, but like I said, feel free to pause the video as needed to you know draw things out or take notes um, the video the video I made right before this one is on the disaccharides so and polysaccharides here though I've I stopped drawing at at cellulose I didn't go on further but again just pause as needed rewind as needed do what you gotta do and learn alright guys thanks for watching